Okay. And welcome to uh, let's play a bird story blind. <laughs> um, as you know, like a few, uh, like a year or two ago, I let's play to the moon, and um, I believe I finished around the time a bird story came out, but I didn't actually get to buy a bird story until like this summer, so. Yeah, also I put it off because I was playing other games. So, here we are at a, board, a bird story. A bird story? Okay. Um, so, yeah, and I'm doing this blind because I can and I will. So, yeah. From what I understand, uh, this, this game has zero dialogue, so... Or at least that's what I remember. I could it could be the complete opposite. It, it's been a while since I actually looked at anything related to this game. So let's just step right in. And I assume it's very short. Okay, so I can use the arrow keys, I can use escape, enter, spacebar. Okay. Well, then let's just forego the um Let's just do that. Technically, since this is an RPG Maker game, I could play the entire game with an arrow uh, with arrow keys, but I'm not going to. Anyways, apparently, a bird story is about um, this kid and. Um, who is apparently going to be the patient for the sequel to To the Moon. And uh, that's all I remember. So, yeah, let's explore this game. So now he's sending a paper airplane. At, and yeah, I, I saw birds also fly by. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things that I don't notice while I'm playing, but I'll probably notice in editing, so I'm going to get like a second, I'll probably put like a second commentary thing, maybe. Maybe. It's a big maybe because I don't know how I'm gonna go about this because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a narrative like a story driven experience I couldn't really call it a game because, like I said, no dialogue. No gameplay yet. I'm not even touching the keyboard or moving my mouse. So, I guess he went to bed. Now we see two birds flying across the sky. And. I must say, I'm. Really liking the music right now. Apparently, he can't sleep. Because I know if I can't sleep, I would toss and turn like that. Time goes by, I guess. Oh, now he's in a dream world. Thing. Okay, so I can use the arrow keys if I wanted to. Why are we walking backwards? Are we like going back in time or something? I guess. That's what I'm assuming. There's also those paper things. Ooh, it's a paper airplane and we're flying backwards. There's also a shadow of a bird on our head. I guess we're li er, we're going back in time. I guess reliving memories. There's a bird. It, there's a guy and a bird there. I see a road. I'm gonna keep going this way. 
there's a thing. Are we in school? That's why I assume to be in. Another clock. We're in the classroom now. With a bunch of other people. What's the teacher going to write? Um, okay. Now he's staring out the window. I don't even know what's going on. Is he writing notes or is he like doodling? Or maybe he's making another paper airplane. What he sees outside. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm what's going on. So basically, all my commentary is going to be is me. Hey, rude. Dude, really? Oh boy. I got ticked out. I got I had to stand in the hall. And I can't leave. <sighs> okay. So yeah, basically my commentary is me trying to interpret this story. So I can't do anything. People are walking by. They will most likely try and make fun of me. Or not notice me at all, which is better, actually. Oof. I can move! Uh, I can't exactly go back inside now, can I? Uh, what if I went this way? No? No, probably not. Oh, nope, okay. I thought I could, but no. Great, uh, let's see. Okay. I can't. Can I? Oops. Keep walking. Let's keep walking. I see trees. Um, okay. Maybe we're slowly going outside. Yeah, that's definitely it. We're going outside. And... Here we go. We're on the seesaw. Alone. Oh. Poor kid. Oh, we can move. Uh... Let's see. There's the sandbox here. The... The, the bar things. Oh, I didn't realize I was like on top of someone. I can make them fade into existence. I don't know. Uh, there's a trash can over here. There's a slide. I can see two people running around. Can I go up the slide? No, I can't. Okay. Um, there's a tire swing over here. Uh, anything else? Can I, like, go past this park? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. So let's just keep going. People. More kids, like... Maybe this is, like, leaving school on the way home. Yeah, that's definitely it. Everyone's going home. A town, an apartment, an apartment, okay. This is probably where he lives. Uh, is there anything past here? No, no there isn't. I'm looking just to make sure, okay, no. So, we might as well go inside. Because I assume that's what they want us to do. And, oh, I'm not moving. No, okay, now I am. Yep. 
Okay, so we're going up the elevator, probably to our apartment. He's apparently... <laughs> to be honest, I would do that. Alright, so this is probably our floor. Which is our house? Uh, is it this one? No. Um, is it this one? No. It's probably the one on the very end. Sheesh. Sounds like a blackout's about to happen. Hello, mice? Why are there mice? Okay, no. This is probably ours. Okay, here we are. At the end of the hall. Are we... Are we actually living alone? Where are, where are this boy's parents? Turns on the light. Where are his parents? Maybe he's out. Uh, maybe they're out. Because there's a letter. Probably saying that they went out for so uh, shopping or what. So... I can't... I can't really examine stuff, can I? There's a, uh, thing. Turn on the light. But that's about it. There's a... I'm not sure what's on the bed. I can't look at their closet. <laughs> Checking to make sure that parents aren't home. <laughs> then he jumps on the bed. Ah. He really is just a little kid though. Okay. Are we done? We can we should probably turn off the lights. Okay, um let's see. What else is there? There's a radio over here. At least I think it's a radio. I can't examine that. Can we watch TV? No. Okay. Guess we go down here. And this is our room. Puts it on the okay, on a table of some sort. Puts his bag down. And I guess he's doing his homework. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Might as well eat. Let's go to the kitchen. There's probably food in the fridge. Alright. Now he's watching TV. Are his parents going to come home soon? All right. He needs to do his homework. I can't. Uh, I don't think I should leave. Here's the bathroom. Maybe go to the toilet for a bit. No. Take it. Uh, take a bath. No. Okay. Fine. We'll leave and go do our homework. At least he's responsible. All right, it's currently eight o'clock. According to the clock there, I'm not even sure how accurate it is, but yeah. Has his parents come back home yet? made another paper airplane, didn't he? Yep. He really likes those paper airplanes. And he... Oh, he tripped. That's what happened. Is he fine? I think he's fine. He didn't bother to pick up his, air, uh, his paper airplane, though. Goes back to his homework. It's really late. He's... Yeah, I can tell he's sleepy. Where are his parents? Like, shouldn't they be home by now? He's gonna fall asleep doing his homework, isn't he? He is. Maybe that... I guess that's his everyday life.
What was that? Maybe his parents threw a blanket on top of him. It's morning! Nice one. And he has to go get ready for school. Yeah, his parents definitely throw a blanket on him. Well, you might as well keep it. And by keep it, I mean tidy it up. Or toss it on the floor. Or on their bed. That works too. Getting ready for school. What's going on? Okay. Well, we might as well go out. Seriously, you're not even gonna fold the blanket? You're not even gonna fold the blanket. You're not e Okay, fine. Well, uh, first of all, let's get our bag, maybe? Can we- can we get our bag? No. Uh, I'm sure he'll remember his bag and homework. Anyways... There's a note. I want to examine the note. Why can't I examine the... Okay. I was pressing the wrong button. I was Okay. I was pressing the wrong button. That explains everything. So let's pick up the bag. Can we not forget our homework? Aww, that's a nice drawing. Don't forget it. Uh, anything here? Nope, okay. Uh, lunch. What's with that? <laughs> you got a cupcake! Nice. We get three cupcakes. There's a note saying it's raining. Okay. Is it... Dude, take the umbrella! <laughs> no, fine. We'll leave. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> go back in class he's gonna sleep in class great oh look class is over he fell asleep his teacher is probably gonna smack him and he did not bring his umbrella. Wow! What a rude teacher! I mean, even if he's like... Even if he's like, um... What do you call it? Okay, what do you call it? Ah, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, even if he's like... Dozing off and not really paying attention in class. It's still it, that's still rude. And it's raining. He forgot his umbrella. So now he's gonna. <laughs> now he's gonna just jump in puddles. Wee. Okay. He really is a kid, though. Because I, I know this is what kids like to do. But he's gonna be soaking wet by the time he gets home. My god, the music. Yep. What's that sound? Those trees move. To reveal another path. Ooh. 
Wait, it's a bird being chased by a raccoon, I think? Shoo! Shoo! Oh. Hey, little birdie. Aw, I think the bird's injured. I think it's injured. Are you gonna take it home? Are you gonna take it home and take care of it? Well... It probably can't fly. No, 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 I won't hurt you! The rain stopped. I know it stopped like a few moments ago, but I'm just noticing it now. I'm just pointing it out now. Alright. I don't think the bird wants to be disturbed. So I shall leave. And, hmm? Oh! The raccoon! Go away! Shoot! Wait, did he throw his bag? The bird hopped into the bag. That's how he got it. He brought it home. He's bringing the bird home. He's obviously looking for it. Birdie, where'd you go? He's probably thinking. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> the bird! <laughs> so he took it home and probably took care of it. What a nice. Okay. Nobody! <laughs> this tree is literally preventing us from passing. Well, oh, we can't go back. Okay. Fine, we'll go home. Okay, fine. We're taking a shortcut. Through the woods. To... The vet, I guess. Can we... Can we go in? No. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? choice but to bring it home with us. I wonder what our parents will think about this though. us will notice. <laughs> now he's stepping away. Though, don't elevators normally come with like a security camera in them? So you would, you would probably find out whether or not you had a pet or not. They would probably find out if you had a pet or not. Okay. Trying to hide the fact that you have a bird in your bag. Alright. We are home again! Checking if parents aren't home. Okay. Um. Bathroom?
Well... Okay, why can't... Why can't I... Oh, lights. Right. <sighs> now we can walk past. Hello, note! Probably saying we will be home late. Just get whatever you want to eat and do your homework and stuff. Uh, let's go to our room. Drop off the note. Probably drop off our bag to homework. Uh, there's an outside area that I didn't go out last time. What's the bag down? Waits for the bird to hop out of the bag. And lets him go outside. That's probably the best spot to leave the bird. Hey. Well, you can kind of fly. Oh, the bird needs water. Okay, um... Well... Let's see... We can get it from either the kitchen sink, which I don't even know where it is, or the toilet. The toilet works. I mean, there's a bag thing. Fill up with tap water. And go give this to the birdie. Here we go. I'll just leave this here. also needs, what, food? Is that it? Or privacy. Well, at least the bird's going for the water. So we're looking for food, I think? Yeah, looks like it. Alright. We got a thing. Now we go back to the bird. Oh, it's bread. Okay. I can't tell because my screen is actually pretty small. Did the bird fly off? Um. The bird's fine. Hiding. <laughs> How cute. It does not want to be seen. <laughs> oh, this is cute. What a nice relationship. So let's get the... Oh. Break it apart. Break it some more. And leave the bread on the floor. Hopefully it's small enough for the bird to want to eat it. 